Hey guys, it is day two of DIY December and I'm going to be showing you how to make this super yummy, ooey gooey s'mores hot chocolate. It is amazing and perfect for curling up at night with as a little treat. So the first thing you're going to need is some milk and you can use any type of milk for this. I just prefer almond milk and I'm going to be using unsweetened cocoa for this because I like to control the sweetness. But if you have a hot chocolate mix around that you really love, go ahead and use that because that's going to work as well. You'll also need about three or four graham crackers. And since I'm using that unsweetened cocoa, I am going to have to sweeten that up with some monk fruit. Now monk fruit is my sweetener of choice but if you don't have this around or you prefer another sweetener go ahead and use that this is a really flexible recipe so you can use the things that you like best and from here all you're gonna need is your favorite peanut butter and of course you can't have s'mores hot chocolate without marshmallows for single serving I like using about a cup of milk and I pour that into the saucepan turn up the heat to about medium and then it's time to mix two tablespoons of the unsweetened cocoa with one tablespoon of the sweetener. So I'm just mixing all of that together so then I can take a whisk and incorporate that into the milk that's warming up. And I like using a whisk because I find that it just makes everything blend nicely. So all you gotta do here really is just keep mixing until all of those clumps of cocoa have dissolved. When everything's mixed together, I turn down the heat a little bit and let it sit so the milk can warm up with the cocoa. And then I take the graham crackers and put them into a little Ziploc bag. And then it's time to have some fun because you get to crush the graham crackers and you want to make sure the bag is sealed for this otherwise it's going to go all over the place but I just use a mug and I crush it on my counter and to get it really nice and fine I like to roll the mug on top. Now I'm just going to take the peanut butter and line the edge of my mug with the peanut butter. And this takes a little bit of patience. It's nothing too ridiculous, but you do want to make sure that the peanut butter doesn't go like everywhere all over the mug. So when you're finished, you should be left with a rim of peanut butter like this. Then it's time to go back to those graham cracker crumbs that we made. So you're just going to want to pour these out onto a plate and then take your mug and dip that peanut butter rim into the graham crackers. And I like to push the graham cracker crumbs onto the peanut butter just to make sure it's all sticking and look at that edge that is awesome when you drink the hot chocolate you're gonna get graham cracker peanut buttery goodness now it's time for the main event, the marshmallows. And since I'm not camping right now, I'm toasting them over my stove. A gas stove will also work for this, but they toast up pretty quickly, so just keep an eye on them. Once your marshmallows are a nice golden brown color, you can go and grab your hot chocolate, pour it into your mug carefully, make sure you don't spill it because that wouldn't be good, and then you can add the marshmallows. And look how ooey gooey they are. Oh, I love marshmallows, especially when they're toasted. And then I'm just adding a little bit more of the graham cracker crumbs. And since I didn't have any chocolate syrup, I'm adding some chocolate chips to this, but I think chocolate syrup would be awesome. And that is it. This is the S'mores Hot Chocolate. It's super decadent and a perfect holiday treat for this time of the year. It is is amazing and I'm gonna dip my spoon in this so you guys can see the gooiness of the marshmallows because I think that's the best part I hope you guys enjoyed today's s'mores hot chocolate recipe and if you try this out yourself I want to see your photos so tweet or Instagram a photo using the hashtag DIY December so I can retweet and like your photos on Instagram and if you would also like to see my DIY December videos early so before they go live on YouTube and you may be wondering how is that even possible? Well, I am able to tweet out secret links on Facebook and Twitter. So if you would like to see some of my videos early, I'm going to be tweeting out the links on some days like an hour or two early before it goes public on YouTube. So it's just a really cool way to see my videos before anybody else. And I think it's awesome. I did it with my first DIY December video and you guys really seem to like it. So I'm going to keep doing it. And if you didn't get a chance to see my first DIY December video, I will link that down below in the description box for you guys and at the end of this video. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow and I hope you guys are having an awesome day.
Bye. I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one to ninety-two. Although it's been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.